Okay, so in this demo, I'm going to show you how to use dedicated compute servers with a GPU on CoCalc. So first, go to your projects. I have a lot of projects. Open up one of them or create a new one. Click on servers and then click on create compute server. Demo using a GPU. Okay, select GPU. We'll just use a T4 since it's really, really cheap. Uh, we can ignore all of this. Uh, since we're just playing around for a minute, I'll click ephemeral. That means I don't care about my data. And let's start the compute server. So it starts um, running here. This will take uh, about a minute to start up. Uh, it's a lot faster if you don't have a GPU, but with a GPU it takes more time. And while we're waiting for it to start up, we can go and create a notebook that we're going to run on the compute server. So here's our notebook. And let's choose the server that we're starting up. So this is going to run on there, and now we just have to wait for it to finish. So it's now running, and um, what that means is it's like a computer that's got from, it's now, it's booted up and it's now going through the initialization phase. Um, so it's a full-fledged virtual machine. Uh, it has this IP address, which is actually public. Um, it takes a little while to start up all the software, um, ensure that the appropriate drivers are configured, etc. Oh, part of the initial time when it took about uh, 70 seconds to boot up is that it has to potentially copy the image from the US to Japan or wherever you end up running the server. There's a log, by the way, that shows exactly when each action happens, and that's here. Okay, it looks like it's almost here. Kernels on the server. Click that, and we're now in. And let's uh, just do a little test, two plus three. I missed my videos over this. So this spinner means it's starting the kernel running. Okay, computed two plus three is five. Let's check that we actually have PyTorch installed and that CUDA is available. CUDA being uh, the NVIDIA GPU. Cool, so everything's working nicely. Um, if you wanna poke around with the terminal, by the way, you can just do plus and do new terminal and then select the server. And then here we are, this is on the machine with the GPU. So if we click top, you can see it's two processors, 13 gigs of memory. And if you type NVIDIA SMI, you can see that it has a Tesla T4 processor. Now let's do something. You can use ChatGPT in the notebook to just, you know, ask to do something fun. So show me a demo of doing something using PyTorch that uh, benefits from a GPU. Thanks. So you click generate, and now um, GPT-4 is going to write some code for us. So it looks like it does a matrix multiplication. Okay. Yep, so because CUDA is available, it creates these two three by three matrices. Move them to the GPU and then carry out the multiplication. It's kind of boring. Let's make these um, a little bit bigger. Maybe 10,000. And there it goes, it took 2.6 seconds and we have our multiplication. Um, I'm sure all the time is spent moving things back and forth to the GPU. Okay, and when you're done, um, if you click on the bar across the top, 
or click on servers on the side, you can see your server. And then if you're going to, um, since I set it to ephemeral, I'll just deprovision it. This is what I do if I don't have any data on the server that I care about. Um, if you're using the Hugging Face or something, you might download data just to the server that's not in your project. But this notebook, this is just sitting in my project right here, being saved. Um, by the way, notice that the server has full access to all of your files. Uh, even though the files are in the East Coast of the United States and the server is in Japan in this particular case. Okay, so let me shut down the server. Uh, oh, uh, let me illustrate, by the way, it's costing 15 cents per hour. And our total cost so far, if you go to upgrades, we've been running the server for five minutes at a total cost of 1.4 pennies. So it's a, just over a penny that we've paid so far. Okay, so now let's go back here, click deep revision, click yes, and then shut it down. Okay, and then once we deprovision it, there's no further cost associated with this at all. So this whole thing of uh, getting started playing around with PyTorch for a few minutes using a GPU on CoCalc cost one penny.